Hi, this is Richard with Richard K Photography. I was recently asked if I could take a a regular photo and turn it into more of a older looking photo. So, um, what you want to do is go ahead and start and create a new layer. Uh, Mac users, you can do that with Command J. Um, then you want to go up to your filters, texture, and grain, um, and you're going to want to set your numbers to 64. 45 and your grain types gonna be clumped um, now as far as the intensity and the contrast goes it really varies on on every image you know depending if your image is lighter or what kind of uh, look you want um, this seemed to work good for what I was going for um, so that's what I used and that's just something you'll play around with um, so as you can see there's a grain to the, the image uh, then you want to go to your hue saturation now, your common mistake is you, you're going to hit 9, 9, and 13. And you're going to see this image just pretty much stays the same. So what you want to make sure you do is you want to click Colorize. Um, and then you want to enter numbers 9, 9, and 13. Um, and that seems to give you that more antique-ish look. So um, from there, you're going to want to go up and create a new layer. And from there, you're going to want to make sure your foreground color is black, and then just fill that with a, with um, your photo bucket. Um, and with that layer, once you're on that layer, you're going to go back into filters, texture, and grain again. Um, and again, this one is pretty much a hit and miss. You kind of have to play around with it. I use 70, um, 64, and uh, you want to make sure your grain type is vertical now. This will give you your up and down grains, um, you know, to give you kind of that aged look. And again, it's just preference, um, what you want to use as far as how much intensity and contrast. Um, again, just play around with it. So this is what you're left with, just a black, you know, box. Um, and doesn't seem like much. So you want to go up to your blending options. Um, and I found that for me, uh, screen seemed to work out pretty well. It showed up um, the textures that I wanted, and um, it seemed to to really give me what I wanted and, and the look that I was going for. So as you can see on the image, uh, it, it's you can see the up and down vertical grains on the image. So um, from here, you want to go in. Um, these are photos that you can download um, and it's just antique papers and I'll put that on the website but basically you're gonna hold down that image drag it over to your main layer that you were working on and then your main photo will pop up you're gonna drag your um, other paper image over it and then you're gonna release um, and then you're gonna wanna again change the um, blending options to soft light found that worked out pretty well and it gave me that aged paper look with that uh, contrast layer that I put on there um, and then you know again you can go up to layers kind of play around with um, you know if you want it a little bit darker a little bit lighter just depending what kind of uh, age feel you're going for and just kind of play around again this is all preference and um, and there's many different options and different methods that people use to give this effect. This is just a quick tutorial I want to throw together to give everyone a general idea of how this is done or how you could do it. Um, and then, you know, you can go up, put your logo on, and, um, you know, you can print stuff like this out. I've seen people print them out and then kind of just burn the edges to give it that really old antique look. Um, you can soak this also in a, a a tea bath for you know a couple days and whatnot, and it'll really age it. Um, some people will leave it out in the sun and, and really give it that faded, aged look. Um, so there you go. Hope you liked it, and thanks again from Richard K. Photography.